I'm Uddhav Tewari and I'm a public policy advisor. And now moving on to some of the deeper issues that are present within competition and the non-personal data report, where the report very clearly makes an argument that there is a concentration of power in few large entities in the technology ecosystem all over the world. Something that as an investor, uh, I'm sure you very frequently come across when many fields which have smaller startups are simply taken over by a larger company providing that same service that makes it very, very hard to compete at an equal footing. Well, governments are actually saying that one of the most effective ways to regulate this is to actually regulate non-personal data. They say that personal data is not enough. And regulating personal data might have led to a decrease in privacy and security risks, but has not necessarily limited the massive anti-competitive behavior that some of the larger companies, according to governments, have been able to indulge in. And therefore, governments are exploring alternative means to bring greater parity between the between these large players and other smaller players who operate in an ecosystem. And this includes both the governments in the European Union who are coming up with their own data strategy, as well as in India, where this non-personal data report is arguably just one of the first ways in which the government is actually thinking about this. Where they want to create a more level playing field between larger and smaller players by making sure that insights and data that only larger players can collect are either shared with the government who can then decide who to share it with or are shared with smaller players directly so that they can also use it in product and service development. As you can imagine, this is something that larger players or in fact, even if smaller players are made to share their data will be very, very unhappy about. And which is why it's really important to keep in mind the fact that this is still going to be implemented. This is just an idea that is present in the report. And even in the European Union, no one is really thinking about these areas in a concrete manner yet. And it's also very hard to see how this will only create impact that is limited to large players and won't impact everyone else. And it's almost certain that these things will impact innovation and funding because of the fact that there will be changes in an ecosystem that has operated in a certain manner for the better part of 20 to 30 years. So because of this impact of innovation and funding, and because of the fact that it may actually lead to better competition between smaller and larger players, this is an area that as investors, one, we must watch for very carefully because of the fact that when there is an increase in competition, it's usually beneficial for both consumers as well as the players in an ecosystem. However, the question remains, how much can non-personal data and it's mandatory sharing with the government and other private players actually help solve this problem. This is something that we will likely only learn by our experience. So there are many individuals within the Indian government and outside who are attempting to think these things through in a way to make sure that innovation and funding aren't impacted negatively, which is why it's very clear that one of the bigger things that the non-personal data report attempts to solve for is making sure there is more competition in the Indian ecosystem.